Hello and welcome back to the MMA India show. This is your host Praveen Dabas. Today we're going to take a look at a really really special fight which took place almost exactly two years ago. The McGregor versus Jose Aldo fight which took place December 12, 2015. It's etched in the memory of a lot of MMA and UFC fans of course because of a very famous 13 second knockout. Uh, it shocked the world certainly shocked me as well. It shocked everybody. I was watching with, with a couple of friends and uh, in India of course we see it in the mornings and uh, take a look at the fight first. Here we go! Green trunks for the southpaw, the notorious Conor Gregor. Black trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Conor relaxed, smiling. Oh! Oh! So here was the fight. Uh, a historical moment in the history of UFC and MMA. Uh, Conor McGregor was already a star before that. He uh, became a superstar uh, that night. He said he would knock out Jose Aldo uh, in the first round and he did. Uh, I personally thought a lot of it had to do uh, with the mental game and, and I mean Conor McGregor is a brilliant uh, MMA artist. You know he He's technically amazing, I don't have to say this, everybody's seen it. But I think one of his biggest fortes is his mental game. And he had already defeated Jose Aldo mentally in the lead up to this fight. Uh, if you see a lot of the pre-fight uh, media events, you know, he was uh, uh, you know, uh, trying to touch him on the shoulder from the back, uh, saying all kinds of stuff, ripping up his posters. He had really gotten into Jose Aldo's head and you could see that, you know, from the look on Jose Aldo's uh, face, you know, and I think one of the problems uh, with this exchange between Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo was Jose Aldo was trying sometimes to reply in English, he couldn't express himself uh, fully. He should have, according to me, really gone after McGregor in the language that he was comfortable in. And, uh, you know, he did that sometimes and you could see when he did, he opened up much more. And I think that was one of the reasons Conor McGregor couldn't get inside Nate Diaz's head before they fought. Uh, and I say this to a lot of, and, and the reason I'm bringing this up is I'm saying this, I'm taking out this message to a lot of the Indian MMA fighters who fight globally and will be fighting globally is, don't let your opponent uh, get inside your head, you know. Uh, with things they say, you know, if you want to reply, don't you don't have to reply to them in English. Reply to them in Hindi, Marathi, Telugu, Bengali, Haryanvi, whichever language you speak. Reply to them in that, and I'm saying swear back at them. You know, whatever it takes to let that uh, aggression out. Don't let it stay inside of you because afterwards. You know, you're always thinking that ye bol dita, wo bol dita, and, it's, and it stays stuck inside your head. You know, and it's a bad feeling when you wanted to have said something to your opponent and you weren't able to. So just remember this, always, always, you know, uh, reply back. Of course, sometimes people don't need to reply back and, you know, they're very cool about it. You know, like the George St. Pierre didn't have to say anything back to uh, Michael Bisman. Now and then he did, and when he did, you know, he, he uh, actually, you know, made a point. But if you feel like saying something back, say it in your mother tongue. You don't have to uh, be a slave to uh, English. So having said that, uh, we're going to repeat the fight for you now again. Like I said, a historical moment, uh, an amazing moment in history for uh, Conor McGregor, the uh, ultimate superstar in MMA and the 